what are authentication factors in this video we would try to understand that when we authenticate to a server we provide several pieces of information to prove our identity for example sometimes we provide a password or pin or answer a security question sometimes we use an atm card or a hardware token for authentication and sometimes we use fingerprints or iris to prove our identity these pieces of information that we provide at the time of authentication to prove our identity are called authentication factors there are three types of authentication factors knowledge factor position factor and inheritance factor a knowledge factor refers to a piece of information that only the user knows for example when a user logs in using a password the password is a piece of information that only the user knows this type of authentication factor is called a knowledge factor as i said authentication using a password or pin uses a knowledge factor a position factor refers to something we possess for example sometimes we authenticate ourselves using an atm card and pin the pin is a knowledge factor but the atm card is something that a user possesses it is called a position factor authentication using a bank card or a hardware token uses a position factor an inheritance factor on the other hand refers to something that is an essential characteristic of the user for example every user has unique fingerprints iris or voice so we can use this unique physiological or behavioral characteristics of a user to authenticate the user these characteristics are unique to every individual and cannot be tampered with easily so authentication using biometrics like fingerprints iris or voice uses an inheritance factor we can use more than one authentication factor to authenticate a user this type of authentication is called multi factor authentication for example authentication using an atm card and a pin is an example of two factor authentication as i said the atm card is a position factor and a pin is a knowledge factor similarly authentication using a password and an otp sent over a user's mobile phone is also a two factor authentication as a user possesses his mobile phone an otp sent over the mobile phone is considered a position factor here i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more can visit the website of the security buddy the security buddy also provides many cyber security courses including courses for various certification exams like the ccna ccnp or comtia the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos